Hello, hello. I see everyone in chat. Thank you for waiting. I'm really excited. I think I think we're ready. Took a lot of setup and getting prepared, but here we have a beautiful shelf of toys that we're going to open today. I actually have some blind bags and stuff too that um wouldn't go on the shelf, so I'll pull them out and get them ready. But I have to say a thank you to our sponsor today. Bye. I would not be able to do this video without them because Blind box is expensive, so everyone say thank you to Bai. As you can see, I have a QR code on the screen. That is my link. Um, you can get a 2,000 yen off coupon. That's that's a really good coupon, actually, um, when you make a new account with Bai. So if you've never used them before, they are a um, basically a proxy shopping service, and they will help you order from Japanese shops, so items like this. And you can shop from so many sites, Mercari, Rakuten, Amazon, Yahoo Auctions, and it's perfect for collectors because sometimes you can't get stuff new anymore, so you can find stuff secondhand. Anyway, let's start opening. It is a Donguri Tank. It's a squirrel in an acorn tank. How cute is that? I had to grab one. Oh, this is not food in case you were going to eat him. Please don't. Let's see which squirrel we get. Oh, I cannot tell from the tank which one it is. The brown one. Dun! It is, um, what is that little piece? Ezo Momonga. Momonga are, like, they're the flying squirrels, right? And a Donguri, acorn missile. Let's put it together. Oh my goodness, acorn tank. Let's put his little gun on here, his little missiles. Um, that is adorable. I believe this is one of the blind boxes that are like originally a gacha. We'll put them up here as we can. Okay, this one, I they had like five different sets of this. It's called ojigi sang, and ojigi means to like bow. So these are bowing animals. So we have a bunny, a river otter, a cat, raccoon, and Shiba. Also, fun fact, raccoons in Japanese are called alaiguma, which means washing bears. I think it's appropriate. They had a set with the cute fox in it, but everything else in it wasn't really cute, so I didn't get it. But I think we want the little otter, cat, or raccoon. I'm not gonna lie, Shibas are not my favorite breed of dog, but that's not because they're not, I don't think they're cute. It's because my neighbor had a really mean Shiba when I was growing up, so I'm kind of traumatized. Oh, we got the kitty! It comes with a little tatami mat! What? How adorable! Look at its little tail! We'll put cat down here for now. I'm excited for the Chocori mascots. My friend Polly Momo opened, I think they were the JJK ones and the quintessential quintuplets one. And they were so cute. I saw they had a Sanrio set. And then of course I got the JJK, Demon Slayer and Spy Family. I think the Spy Family one's new. Apparently they have a Sailor Moon one, but I couldn't find it. Obviously we want Kuromi, first choice. Second choice, cinnamon roll. Third choice, you know what? I'm gonna say Keropi. I love little twin stars, but you can't, it's like Chip and Dale. You can't just have one, you gotta have both. It's pom pom pudding. So fun fact, I was a pom pom pudding ambassador for, actually I think I'm still signed up but a, they called it a pomubasada for a year and they had a bunch of events. Um, some of you may remember the vlogs and stuff. I went to a lot of their stuff. I went to a pom pom pudding cafe opening. I went to like an exhibit. It was really cool. I learned a lot about pom pom pudding that year. I like that it comes with a little stand. So chokorin, chokotto means like kind of tiny chokorin. I guess it could kind of mean like perching but also, um, sorry for like the ghost creepy light. My light's right here. It has like a little rubbery texture. It's not hard plastic. Okay, we'll put Pum Pum Pony here. Ooh, we're going for the long remint. I will agree with that. 
I've never opened one of these before. It is Nakayoshi no Ki, like friendship tree? Two? I guess there was a first series. Kimama na Hirusagari. There are some cute ones on here. There's Pikachu and Togepi. Pachirisu. Oh, I want that one. Achamo. Again, I don't know the English names of Pokemon, so you guys are gonna have to translate for me. There's a lot of bird ones, I guess because they're on a log, maybe? And then Jigglypuff. I know that one in English. And number six is some plant-based ones. I'll go for one, two, and five. Six is cute, but I'm not really familiar with them. What one would you guys want to get? Are we ready? Jan! Ow, I just hit my computer monitor. <laughs> we have Jigglypuff! Oh, it's. I thought it would be smaller than this. Okay, we have to cut this one open. Give me a second. It's a log! It's called Iggly? Wait, the English name is Iggly? That's so cute! Jiggly and Iggly? Oh look at there's little plants on here! Wait, this one's so cute and obviously they connect. So if you get a full set, you can have like a whole log. Let's see. Jiggly puff. In Japanese it's pudding and pudding, I think. Oh my goodness. Again, scary ghost lighting. But that is adorable. I wish this was like an attachment piece though, so if you only had one, you didn't really have to see that. I love the little flowers. The detail on the log is amazing. Look at it, they even have rings on the side. It looks like one of those, um, Bamuku hen cakes. For now, we'll put it there. Let's check out the Mokar cards. There are 28 different cards, one in a pack. They're by Bushy Road. Oh, is Bushy Road, are they the ones that make the, what is that one? The card game where they use all the different anime characters, but you can build your own deck with whatever cards you want. Why can't I remember what it's called? Here's the first one. Oh, it's cute. We got number one. So they all have names. I think one's actually called Abby. Um, but I do not know their names. There's a zombie car. I hope there's a card of the zombie car. Card of the zombie car. It's hard to say. It's like a tongue twister. Vanguard! You're right. Thank you. That's exactly the one I was thinking of. Second one. Oh, wait, okay, I thought they'd all be like pictures. This one's art. It's like a little doodle. And the little backgrounds, those are cute. I like these. I like that they're not doing just like super anime anime ones, you know? I'm afraid I'm gonna cut the card one of these times. Driving school car. Okay, I wish they had the names on here because I feel bad that I don't remember them. But as you can see, they're different like themed cars. There's an ambulance, there's a police car. I just really like the zombie car. Jung. Oh, it's driving school car. Are these in order? They're not, are they? We have needle felted driving school car and artsy driving school car. Here is our last one. Oh, it's new driver. I can see the new driver mark right here. I don't know what the little cone is though. Look at their little lips, their mouth. They're so cute. But the sound they make when they like drive is really cute too. So apparently this is a new set. I probably will get more of these. They're really cute. This would be fun to collect. We love Mokar. This is Kamano Reiko. Reiko Kamano, who's an artist. And I'd never ever seen these before. I don't know if these are gotchas as well, but I need that Shiba with the tote bag. But I also thought the art style was really cute. I meant to look her up before the stream, but there's some cats. It says cats and friends, warm daily life figures. The white cat is Chao. This kitty is Chifu. They all have names. And Gu Chang is the black one. And the dogs are Shiba-san and ducks. Very original. And then another chowl sitting on a little bench. I mean, the odds of me getting the Shiba are very, very low now that I look at this. Oh, this one was 550 yen. I thought it was less. So maybe this isn't a gacha one. I don't know. I need the Shiba with the tote bag. How cute is it? Am I in focus?
Oh, we got the black cat though. I will accept that. This is Gu san. Gu chan. I'm gonna go back and get more of these. I need that dog. I need tote bag dog in my life. Someone look up this artist though. There's like a little doodle here. It's really cute. It's Kaman no Leiko. Look at him. Look at his face. Oh my goodness, I love him. And then he comes with a little flower. I never know what to do with these little figures. Like, I know it adds to it, but they're just there for me to lose at this point. But I do love the cat. We're gonna put him, maybe we'll put him over there. You know what, we'll put him down here. He's just lurking in the corner there. Oh, I guess we can put his little flower by him too. Ah! Drop. I'm gonna knock a reman over too. Chonker! He does look very unimpressed. I think that's why I love him. Let's open Anya. Chocolate mascot, spy family! Do I sound like the Raimon when I do that? So we want Bond? Or oh, we want we want Kai, Kai, Chimera, Kimera-san. I don't think I've ever seen merch of him. I know they made a plush, but it wasn't that cute. It was, it was, it was okay. So we want any of those three. We have good odds for this one. Or Bond. Did I just jinx it? Maybe. Potentially. Oh, okay. They do not make this easy. My nail actually is, um, I have a little tear in it right here. I'm gonna go get it fixed tomorrow, but I can't be ripping boxes open. Or my nail will come off. Oh, it's an Anya. Which Anya is it? That is the derpiest Anya I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> um, you know how I said that these figures were super cute? <laughs> this is cute in a different way. In Japanese, we say busukawa. Busu, it's not a very nice word. Don't call people that. It means ugly. But it's like ugly cute. I think it's the hair too. I think the hair is just like a little bit too big for her face. Oh my goodness. The eyes. What you ordered, what you received. Okay, we'll put Anya next to Pom Pom Pudding here. Let's open these random blind bags from Daiso. They're just little stickers, but every 1,000 yen you spend, uh, Daiso is a dollar store by the way, um, you get one of these stickers and Oh, I hope I didn't just cut it. I don't think I did. It's so random, like a Zootopia collab. They're called Fixies? And I think they're fabric stickers. It's kind of random, really. But, I mean, I'll always take a cute sticker. There's 24 different ones. I've never heard of these before, except for when they passed them out at Daiso for Peter Rabbit. Oh. This one's not fun. What letter is that? Is that a P? Where, what is this? Where in the movie is this? Oh, Jumbos. Oh wait, it's the ice cream shop, right? I, didn't, I couldn't tell that was an elephant for a second. Okay, well the logo's kind of whatever, but Nick is cute. Here we have the Kawaii Cake Shop. This is the Sanrio one. Oh my goodness, are we seeing the Pom Pom Pudding Sunday? It's just his butt. There are eight different sets. We have standard cake. Ooh, my melody. I like that it's a mix of all the different characters. We have best cakes, cold sweets, tea party. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, it has Koro Koro Kuririn. That's such an old school character. We have the cupcakes, Puchi Gato, little tiny cakes, gift set and a wedding cake. Um, I kind of don't really care about the wedding cake. I want mm, probably one from this side. I really want the tea set, I think. Look at the little sugars, the sugar cubes. They're shaped like Hello Kitty and Daniel, I think. Oh, oh, it's the cold sweets one. Yes. Kawaii cake shop. Natsu ni pittari tsumetai sweets. Perfect for summer. Cold sweets. Then it comes with... Is this a box? No, it's a little bag. And then coasters. These must be drinks then. Or jellies, maybe. 
Oh, the full set would look so cute. A little cake shop. See, this is the thing about buying single remands. I open one and then I'm like, oh, I need the other seven. We have pochako, pudding. Ah, I need like a macro lens for this. There's a star-shaped glass or the jelly. There should be another one. <laughs> I didn't drop it, I just forgot it. Ah! Oh, and I just threw it behind my monitor. Okay, that's gone forever. Sorry, I'm not gonna grab it right now because I have to move a bunch of stuff. But here are the little jellies. They can share a cup. Obviously, these are little twin star themed. Very, very tiny. There's the uh, Kiki one. And here's the, ah, focus, Lala one. So tiny. And I'm gonna leave a little spoon in here because I will lose that. American Zaka. This is the Snoopy set. And this one was cheap. It was 660 yen. So Zaka means like knickknacks. Uh, it can mean any. It can mean different things, but usually like decorations, knickknacks, kind of like that. And this is American knickknacks. I would say that this is very American looking from a Japanese point of view. Gumball machine, popcorn, electric guitar, a neon sign, a big burger, kind of a retro vending machine, jukebox, ice cream, a garbage can, a Snoopy telephone, oops, sorry, wasn't in focus, shelf, and toys. I think any of these will be good considering it's just one set. Oh, it's the guitar! Oh wait, this is cute. This would be perfect for a Nendoroid. And then little radio, I think? Oh, it comes with the, is that the guitar stand? I think it is. And a little jazz, jazzy Snoopy. Wait, I love that the guitar has a strap. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, and the strap comes off. So growing up, well, my teenage years, I guess. I played bass guitar. Kind of reminds me of that. But obviously this is an electric guitar. There's a little Snoopy! Look at his hair. Oh my goodness, I want to give this to an Android. It's nice that it comes with a stand so you can display it. Oh, is it an amp? It looks kind of small to be an amp. Oh, there is a tiny, tiny guitar pick. I almost missed that. They need to put this in like a separate little baggie inside here. That is a speck! Oh my goodness, this is going straight into the box with the other remands. Is that an amp? I don't know. There's nowhere to like plug it in or anything. There is a little meter here though. And there is a tiny Snoopy figure. He's wearing sunglasses! Is this Joe cool? And then the stand. It's cool, so I can stand it up. Um, let's see. I don't have a Nendoroid here, but we could give it to Neptune. She looks like she could be in a band. Hold on, let me see if I can put it on her. Give me a second. Oh, she might not have enough shoulder to hold it up. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. But that's what it would look like with a figure. <laughs> oh, it's stuck on her now. Hold on, I can't get it off. That's going in the remint box with all the little parts. I am definitely losing the guitar pick. I am already giving up on that. Super duper cute. Like, look at the little pick. You can barely even see it. Love music. That's cute. Ugh. Would they have it set up like this? It looks so good. I want the gumball machine. Oh, and it comes with some sheet music? That's cute. Oh, maybe it is an amp. Amp figures guitar. You were correct. Here is... Sumiko Paredo. Makura Yomichi. A dark night Yomichi. Like dark road I guess eight different ones let's see ah they're all in the back here um the little coffins kind of cute oh and the fact that the mole is a zombie digging his way out of his grave that's cute I think any of these are cute honestly penguin as a witch tokage as a devil cat as a cat very original I do like the little coffin though okay let's open it who's it gonna be It's the grave. It's Mole! Zombie Mole! What is this little piece? Is this a stand? Actually, look at how well made this is. Super textured. Okay, let me open it up. 
Look at that. There's a little ghost. Oh, says happy Halloween. Okay, here is... I don't know what the stand is for. I guess he can, like, maybe if you want to stand him up next to the grave, because I think he just goes in here. Enhance! Enhance! He's cute. He has, like, little zombie stitches. Just a little patch on his head there. His little purple feet. Love. Look at the dirt. It's super textured. And the gravestone, headstone, what is it called? It's very stony, too. Dong! I like that one. That one's really cute. You know what? I'm curious about these. The quintessential quintuplets. The real question is, am I going to be able to name all these? And correctly name them, I guess. Have any of you watched this anime? It's really cute. This is... Itsuki? Question mark. <laughs> but as you can see, the art's really pretty. It kind of has a soft touch to it. And so they're quintuplets. So these are all, they're supposed to be, they look the same. And in the anime, it's funny because they make it like the main character can't tell them apart or people can't, but they look so different. It's very funny. It's interesting how they do that because obviously if they drew them exactly the same, no one would know the difference, but it's, I think it's funny. Oh, here we have Ichika. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. I don't know if these are stream appropriate. Let's go through them quickly. Oh, here's a group shot. That's cute. Um, also, disclaimer, they don't dress like this in the anime. <laughs> um, this is Miku. No, this one's Miku. They all have different numbers. So Itsuki's like the fifth. Nino is the second. Ichika is the first. Miku. Yotsuba, Yotsuba, because she's number four. I think the story, the plot is that they're all very bad at studying, so the main character helps them get their grades up. I'm like, is this okay to show? I mean, it's a little fan service-y. Um, this one is... Miku? Okay, maybe, maybe I can't tell them apart. I don't know. Well, those are cute. I'm not a mega fan, so I probably won't continue collecting those, but the art is cute and adorable. <laughs> anyway, let's open the chocolate remand. I have to stand up to grab this one. So they've been doing collaborations. They've done this from before too, but recently I noticed they had a collab with Kelby, and this one's with Meiji, and this one is chocolate themed. Actually, kind of perfect for Valentine's Day. These are all chocolates that exist. This is one of my favorite chocolates. There's apparently some science behind it and like the thin layer in the cubes is like calculated to be like a certain thinness or something. So it's like snaps when you take a bite, it's really good. But there's white chocolate and then there's like these fancy ones, Meiji the chocolate. And these were really trendy for a while. I haven't really seen them around lately. Oh, and Melty Kiss, these only come out in the winter. They are season exclusive. And then we have almond chocolates. Those are always good. And 72% uh, dark chocolate. That's one of my favorites too. We have Aporo and marble chocolates, which are our version of M&Ms. And then Takenoko no Sato and Kinoko no Yama. So in Japan, we say that you're either a Takenoko person or a Kinoko person. And the ingredients are exactly the same. It's just like, I guess a texture. Actually, the ingredients aren't the same, but um, this is more like cookie-like. It's more like graham crackery, kind of. And this one's more like biscuit tea in an American sense. I used to always say I like the kinoko better, but the bamboo shoots are really good too. Uh, if you ask any Japanese person, which they are, they'll know what you're talking about. It's a whole debate. Do you guys have that in like your country? I'm trying to think like what a... I guess American one would be. Because I know like there are like debates like if they're called Smarties or Rockets or if Smarties or M&Ms or like stuff like that. But that's like between countries, but like within your country. Oh yeah, Coke versus Pepsi. That's a good um, example. That's actually perfect. It's basically like that, but these are made by the same company. 
Let's see what we get. I see a plant. Oh, this is the fancy, the chocolate. Oh, the packaging's so cool. Oh, I love realistic miniatures. It comes with the chocolate. Okay, let's open this. I love that it comes with a plant too. So this is the actual packaging, looks like this. So this one says Peru. This one is Venezuela. So they're from different countries. This is definitely not big enough. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be the packaging. But, um, a tiny tray. Oh, I didn't realize that they were different like shapes and textures like that. I never noticed that box. I don't know if this goes on the tray or what, but it comes with a drink. Is this a drink? Is this supposed to be alcohol? There's just like, oh. I don't know. I, well, that's stuck now. I don't know if that's right. Let me look at the box. I think I just messed it up. Oh no, that goes in the bottom of the cup. Oh wait, this is a frame. I think this is art. I thought it was a tray. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is definitely art. Oh, and there's smaller packaging. I guess you- oh. You cut it out yourself, of course. Remens always come with fiddly paper crafts. So here's the wrappers for the chocolates. I guess there are two bars in each box normally. So I will not be cutting that out on stream. I think I did get this stuck. Oh, it went down on its own. There we go. I guess that's supposed to be alcohol. Let's put this little plant together. I feel like these both go in here, maybe? A little plant to go with your chocolate. That is not a suspicious looking plant at all. Many tiny parts. I'm probably gonna regret putting everything in the same box, but for now. I need to do a remint. Not necessarily de-stash because I don't think I would get rid of anything, but I need to organize all my remints. Okay, let's open the JJK. I am obsessed with the anime. I love the movie. Have not read the manga. I probably should, but I haven't been reading any manga lately. I want Gojo. Nana means cute too. I'm curious to see if it's gonna be as derp as Anya back there. Yeah, any of the main three would be okay. So I remember the chocorines being very cute when my friend opened them. So I am very shocked at derpy Anya. I'm destroying the box. Here we go. Oh. We have, whoa. We have Hushiguro Megumi. And he does not look derp, so <laughs> it's just that Anya. These are cute. Um, Aki from Chainsaw Man and Megumi have similar vibes to me, but I like Aki. JJK Toge is my favorite. These remind me of the figural key rings. Did any of you collect those? Look at the little chibi and his spiky hair. Okay, this one actually looks really good. Let me grab Anya. You would not think that the same company made them. Why is Anya so derp? I got two of these in case we got the campfire because who wants just a campfire? So there is a cat playing guitar, the campfire, and then the rest are all cats. But I looked at this and I was like, well, I don't want just a campfire. So I have another one. If we get the campfire, I will open it. If not, it's going in the magical blind box. Who is it gonna be? These I've definitely seen in gachos before. Oh, it's White Cat! I love the little camping chairs they come with. The expression's so cute too. He has a little mug that's empty. Give him something to drink. He's wearing a down jacket. Let's put him in his chair. Look at this chair. So good. Oh, he's so cozy. It's a Scottish fold, maybe? Um, yep, it says Scottish fold and chair. You know what? The one in the pink is cute too, but I think I got the cutest one. Though, I wouldn't mind having the tar cat. The camping set was called Neko no Kyujitsu Cat's Day Off. Cross your fingers for... You know, at this point, I would be okay with campfire. Uh-oh. Do they all have the same chair? Did I jinx it? No! 
No! They're twins! Okay, goodbye. Well, at least the packaging still looks nice. The, I only cut the tape, so this can be re-gifted. <laughs> Farewell, holiday cat. I do have the stamps. Maybe we should open the stamps. I just realized I didn't get any paper out to test the stamps, but let's open them up. So these are dollar store blind bags. It was 100 yen, super cheap. But I found that these stamps are really good. They are very pigmented and, well, you can see a little fishy, I guess. Just a cute little stamp to decorate things. The designs are adorable. There are 18 different designs and there's Neko, there's Tokage. Oh, I, <laughs> somehow I didn't realize that these weren't blind bags. I just grabbed them. You can totally see the design. I'm just used to these being blind bags. I didn't even look. <laughs> Little um, dust ball. The Sumiko Gurashi characters all have kind of sad background stories. Like Tonkatsu is like the little edge piece of Tonkatsu that someone left and his nose is just the little piece of meat. He's like the little fatty piece on the end that no one wants to eat. And Ebi Fry's tail is the tail that no one wanted to eat. I forget what Kat's story is. Tokage is looking for his mom? I forget. I used to know all of their background stories. I don't remember. As I was saying, Sumiko Gurashi, look up their background stories. The characters are so cute. I love when little cute characters have lore. Here's one of the tapioca bubbles. I think the tapioca pearls are the same. They're like the ones that get left at the bottom of the cup or something when you have boba. The designs are super cute. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper. I'll stamp them real quick. Here are the little stampies. I actually really like these colors. They're not like the basic magenta, bright yellow, you know? It's a very nice purple. The blue puffer fish is cute. Also, do you like this memo pad? It's my favorite. Tokyo Disney. Ariari dekiremon. This says, I can cook, or I know how to cook. Watashimo, let's cook. For some reason in Japan, um, any cooking videos, they always like to start by saying, let's cooking. And I'm always like, no, that's not how you say it. Doki doki, hajimete no cooking. Exciting, doki doki. It's like a pounding heart, I guess. Um, first time cooking. With the microwave. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a cute lineup. We have onigiri, a rice maker. And then the second one is omuraisu. Third one is wieners and like microwavable pasta i guess that's not a fully cooked meal that's that's an interesting one and then number four is saran wrap food oh it says papa thanks for working hard papa has to microwave his food when he gets home that's very japanese and then there's a, a hot sandwich maker or like a panini press we love those and then coffees the titles are funny it says Papa will have his coffee black, and Mama has milk in hers. Number seven is a little gratin, or is this chicken doria? So that would be rice. And then the eighth one is salad. Interesting, okay. Um, I kind of don't want number three because what am I gonna do with a plate full of sausages? <laughs> and microwavable pasta. I would like the omuraisu one, and even just the oven. That would be cool to have as a prop. Maker! Okay, I love this one. This one's really cute. Oh no, look at all these tiny pieces. Oh, look at the cutting board and knife though. Okay, hold on. Here's the sandwich maker. These tiny, tiny parts. Let me dump them out so I don't drop them. Look at this tiny sliver of pepper. Also, who puts peppers in their sandwich? You know what? I'm not going to take these out of the bag because I will lose them. I do have little containers that I store my tiny parts in, but I don't have them right now, so... These are the tiny slices of pepper. Here's a whole paprika cut in half. Ah! Pepper down! And then here, maybe I can put them on the cutting board so you can see. And then little slices of red and yellow paprika and green bell pepper. Cute little knife. Chop, chop, chop. Sometimes they make the one side look like bread. So you put it in and it's bread and then you open it up, it's toasted. But these are toasted on both sides. Oh, I almost just opened this while I was reading chat. <laughs> let's, 
open Pochako no Ochi. Pochako's house. I got this one because it, I feel like it's rare to see Pochako standalone merch. So I was really happy to see a full remand. So it looks like it's furniture, some food items. I think I have the pom pom pudding set like this. It's been so long, I can't remember if I was thinking about getting it or if I actually got it. Let's open it up. Ooh, I see a melon soda. Is this the, oh, it's the TV. Little TV, I bet there's gonna be a cutout to put in there. Oh my goodness, a little melon soda! With a vanilla ice cream scoop pochaco. That is adorable. Little carrot cushion. And a little chick. I don't know if this is supposed to be his little friend or if it's a plush. Look at Adorable! These are the dollar store JJK stamps. We opened the Sumiko Gurashi ones, which were very, very cute. There are 18 different stamps in here. Nobara! Sugizaki. I want Toge and Gojo, my two favorites. Megumi. So we have a Megumi to go with our Megumi. Nobara. I guess we just need a Yuji now. Ah! To complete the first years. <laughs> Jung! <gasps> Toge! Okay, this one needed to be inked up a little bit more. The bottom one was the third one. It has so much detail. Let me try the other two. They're really nice stamps though. I think you just need to get the hang of stamping them. I don't think I've had one with this much detail. It's really cool. I may end up getting a full set, but this is like a sample opening because look how cute it is. It is Nanairo Osora no Cafe Terasu, Seven Colored Sky. So like Rainbow Sky, Cafe Terrace, Cafe Cinema Roll. There's the lineup. Lots of sweets again, it looks like. Little takeout bowl. We like the sky cloudy soda. I like the cafe sign. I wouldn't mind getting number one. French toast. And then this is like props for the cafe. So eh, I would like something that kind of works on its own. I've had the cinema roll curry at Puro Land, or one that looks similar to it anyway. Cinema roll is currently my favorite Sanrio character. Cinema roll is the best. Oh, this is just one I can open up. Jung. Oh. Okay, this works on its own. It's a little dessert plate. There's the plate. Oh, the plate's decorated. Here's a little plate. Cafe cinema roll. A little, what looks like cheesecake. Oh, this is the, the, um, this doesn't go on here, but it's the little, it's the butterfly tea that changes color, right? There's a little muddler that goes inside. Oh, it's so hard to see. This looks like a little mousse. <laughs> I wasn't even in frame, sorry. Jelly mousse dessert. Those are very common here. And this little moon that goes on the edge of the cup, but I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Da! <laughs> I'm just gonna show you the picture for it. Da dong! So, little dessert plate. And it says, please cut out the luncheon mat. Oh, maybe that is the sauce for that. I thought it was maybe for the drink. Because, you know, they have those color changing drinks. It's usually butterfly tea and lemon juice. I don't know. There's a little luncheon mat promoting different menus from the recipes dishes from the cafe. But look at, as a full set, it all looks so good. After getting the My Melody and Kuromi Cafe, I kinda think this might be the next one I get as a full set. Let me know what you guys think. Yay or nay? Should I, should this be my next remit? This is the Kimetsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer Chokorin. This is the third series. I would like Nezuko. Um, I have not finished the second, it's the second season, right? That comes after the movie. I've seen the movie, but I haven't started whatever the newest season is yet. 
That's season two, right? So I know some of these characters, but not in detail. But let's open it up. Hopefully I'll get Nezuko. Oh, it's not Nezuko, but it is. Oh, her name is it all in kanji. One of you may have to tell me if you know who this is. I can't read that kanji. I remember her from the anime, but when there's so many characters, I cannot remember names. I like her hair. She has three braids. I never knew that. I thought she just had the two braids. And she has the stand. She's cute. I do see figures of her a lot, so I imagine she's quite popular. Mitsuri. Okay, I was wondering if that was Red D. She's a cutie. I love how, even though she's tiny, they kind of kept the detail of her outfit. It's really good. Very well sculpted. Actually, you know what? Let's let's open these. I have five of the Sumiko Gurashi acrylic stands. These are adorable, but I've said it before that they kind of start looking the same after a while. I was getting that with the Spy Family ones because there's only three main characters. So it kind of started feeling repetitive after a while, even if they have different designs. And kind of feels that way with the Sumiko Gurashi ones too sometimes. But they are adorable. Cannot deny. And these still have the plastic films on them, but I'm not going to take the time to peel them off right now because that would just take a very long time. Tonkatsu with Ebi Fry. What is he holding? Binoculars? Yeah, let me get closer. Doing a magic spell? Here, I know I'm very up close, but I'm just gonna do this instead of refocusing my camera. <laughs> Let's cut this open. Oh, it's polar bear with a star. I think that's, is that the theme for this one? They're all like in clouds and stars. It looks like he has a conductor's hat on. Is he going on a trip? I'll put it on his stand at least. Adorable. Next one. Doubles! Okay, this is just going back in then. I did not expect that. Well, I guess there are only 12 different designs, so shouldn't be too surprised. I do like the different like series, sets, themes they come out with though. Oh, new one! Tokage! Jung! Tokage with his little snail friend. It says, Kanpai! Here's our fifth one. Maybe if I can get it out of the bag. I think it's a new one. Polar bear friend on a star. Okay, this one's really cute. I do like Shirokuma. So here they all are. These are cute. I'll have to find the other ones I got and see how many out of 12 I have. This is Kyomu, which means like nothing. Expressionless cats staring into the abyss. I want the one lying down. Actually, the gray cat sitting is kind of cute. I don't really care for the yellow cat, but we'll see what I get. It's just, he's very mustard yellow. Hold on, let me open this up. Open this. Oh, it's white cat. Okay, we're putting this by the other grumpy cat. Ugh. Ah, I'm sorry! Cat down! Here we have Hunwari, Fluffy, Mochiri, Chewy, that's like a bad way to describe it, but it's Mochi Mochi, Doughy, Bread, Yakitate, Pan Yasan, Freshly Baked Bakery. Okay, mm so we have like the baking process, they're measuring things, they're rolling out the dough, they're baking the dough, and freshly baked bread, it's on this side. Little baked treats, the little cupcakes it looks like, tongs. And, oh, little cute breads. And then more breads in a tray, little figures. Okay, so they all seem to come with bread, except for the baking ones. 
Yeah, I would like one that would work on its own, as always. I really don't want the tongs and tray, but you know what? We'll live with it if I get that one. Chewy, but in a good way. Exactly. Oh, we got the basket of bread? Oh, and the sign. Okay, I like this. I like the little props. Basket. Little breads. Oh, they look, they look like breads. They look baked. There's a sign and sticker. I will not be putting this on now because I will mess it up. We have basket with brebs. They look so cute as brebs. Polar bear. Penguin. Oh, they have all the main characters. This is, this is adorable. And tokage. I remember when there were only four main characters. Back in my day, Tokage was not in the main lineup. I remember when he came out, he was such a big hit. Everyone loved Tokage. Oh yeah, that's the backstory for Tokage. Tokage means lizard in Japanese, but Tokage does not know that he's actually- Ah! A dinosaur. Stay in there! Um, camera, please. We would like to observe Baguette Friend. Oh my goodness, camera. How dare you? Baguette Friend. He's also like a half cut low of Baguette, so I wonder what the backstory is. If he's like leftover, if he's stale. Let's open the Sun Maruku blind box since we are on bakeries and cafes. Ugh, everything we open today is so cute. This has been so much fun. I love my little cats. This is one of my favorite cafes just because they have these chocolate croissants. And if you visit Japan, you have to get one. They're like 250 yen, I wanna say. I don't care about any of their drinks or any of their other food. It, it's not bad, but you have to get their seasonal croissant, whatever flavor it is, and a chokokuro. Last time we got the sandwich, I was very disappointed. So I got another one. I did not buy them at the same time. So yeah, knowing my luck, we know what's in here but I am not going to stop until, well, I would like the five pack, but I will take the coffee and chokokuro as well. Oh. I jinxed it. Doubles, no! I will leave this in the bag, but I feel like this is a set that I'd be okay having doubles of because if I ever did like a little bakery miniature or something like a diorama it would fit but no here is Yumekawa Picnic dreamy cute picnic we have a lot of dreamy cute happening today so I mean we looked at the lineup I believe it was last time um, I did get number one sorry camera please focus anything but number one I'm not gonna be picky uh, anything but number one. Really? Really? I do not need two hampers. No! So, um, I'm not gonna open this again because I already have it. But, um, yeah. I, I, I swear I jinx it. Every time I say I don't want this one, I get it. <laughs> again, at least this is a box that I can close up again. I didn't rip it open. What are the odds? Here are the doubles that I got today. Here are the figures that I got today. And here are the remints that I got today. <laughs> All in one box. Got some acrylic stands, some stamps was a good opening. I have to say a big, big thank you to Bai for sponsoring today's stream. I would not have been able to open this many in one stream if it weren't for them. So we need to say thank you to Bai. Um, you may have noticed a QR code on the screen. If you scan it, that will take you to Bai and you will get my coupon, I believe. And I will talk to you all on Discord, YouTube, Twitter, all those places. Thank you so much for being here today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the blind box openings and the doubles. <laughs> so many doubles. 
But I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna get something to eat. You guys have a good evening, good day, enjoy your weekend, and I will talk to you all very, very soon.